All right. It's fixing to be turkey season, or I say it's fixing to be. It's, that's the next season, I guess, and, and we're uh, kind of starting to think about that. I'm not much of a turkey hunter, but I'm starting to see questions come up about some Tacticam features on the Solo Extreme and the 6.0. Um, one thing that I'm seeing is, is how do I, how does the red dot work? And can I adjust that? I'm currently connected to the Solo Extreme, um, and it has a red dot. If you go down here, you'll see this feature for red dot, uh, but I don't think it's adjustable on the solo extreme i'll hook it up um, to the shotgun here in a little bit we'll kind of just see how far off it is if it's if it's off at all um, but you have the red dot i just don't see any feature to adjust the uh, the red dot itself um, so that's the solo extreme you can see there's the red dot there in the middle um, you can adjust your zoom we'll look at zoom on another video um, if you hadn't seen that red dot looks a little different on this versus the try to hold it up versus the the 6.0 it's a little different red dot maybe a little bigger i don't know if that matters or not but anyway so that's the solo extreme um you've got different features and stuff you can go through that you can preset um but what i wanted to talk about mainly was the 6.0 and the ability for it to um, adjust that red dot for your particular shotgun and how to go about doing that. So one thing I wanted to point out is I don't like blackout mode. I just like putting some electrical tape over it and then like you know, for that first light you don't want that glow um, and it doesn't stay on for very long and then these lights will go off but um, just in case for duck hunting I've always and deer hunting too I've always kept electrical tape over it and I can just flip it back. It's a very cheap easy way to solve that problem. So I'm going to get it connected to the app, and uh, we'll go through how to adjust that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and connect this. Swipe down, hit Wi-Fi. Uh, give it a second for my Wi-Fi to pick it up. Okay, so I've got two 6.0s, so I don't know which one will be the one that actually this is. Um, I've changed the names in the app, and they kind of seem to go back, so I'm guessing it's the other one. All right, so we're connected to our 6.0. I'm going to go into settings, camera settings, and I think blue is what I like to have as my first light. So I do 4K at 15 frames a second. I'm going to zoom all the way out. I've started zooming at 2.0 or two, two times. This is very little zoom. Um, no zoom would be just fine. I'm going to do no zoom right now and I'm going to do mode one red dot on. And then at the very bottom, I believe, so I've only got red dot on um, mode one right now. Let me make sure mode one is blue. Yes, mode one is blue, red dot. So in here at the very bottom, you've got red dot x, y axis and you can actually move that a little bit so and you've got the x and the y of course the y is up down x is left and right so what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to put the 6.0 on the shotgun and i'm going to put it in my tripod and i'll show you how um, i kind of get that aimed right all right so what i've done <clears throat> i've got my shotgun on this bog death grip and i've got the bead at the end zeroed on that top target right in the yellow i would really prefer to do this like 20 yards but there's an ice storm so this will get me relatively close um, in here and it might be slightly off at like 20 or 30 40 yard shot but it's be pretty close so i've got the bead at the end of the gun directly on that yellow of that top archery target down at the end so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come into my app and i'm going to go to dash control and i'm going to see what it sees on there we go camera one <laughs> all right so it's uh, it's set in green which is the red dot and it's um it's uh took a little bit of a delay there to get it pulled up so got just a little bit of a lean on my camera if that's from the bog there we go there's a little bit of a delay to get back here so if you're messing with it too much so i'm going to get it sighted back in just perfect on the yellow all 
All right, <clears throat> so my, my bead is perfectly on yellow. You can see I'm off a little bit. Hope you can see. I'm off a little bit on my red dot. So what I'm gonna do, I need to come over a little bit. I need to go right a little bit and up a little bit. So I'm gonna back, I guess I could've just hit the settings button. And you go right and up a little bit. So I'm gonna go to the X axis, which would be my left to right. So I'm, gonna, I'm at 48, I'm gonna go to 52. That'd be left to right. So I'm moving further right by going to 52. And the Y axis need to go up a little bit. And I'm at 53 already. So I'm gonna bump it up to 60. Okay. Back out, save those changes. Not super sure you have to save it at that point, but we're going to try it. All right, so I'm a little low, but my left right's perfect. So unless that X, Y axis is backwards, left to right X is good. I'm going to go back to the Y axis. I'm going to bump it down to 48. It might be just a little backwards. That's about perfect. Well, if you could see that, that's just about perfect. I might move it one, one more dot. I'm just a little high now, but that's probably okay. I'll zoom it in. Yeah, I'm a little off center. I think that might be because of the gun being a little tilted. You can see that tilt as you zoom in, the tilt looks a little, a little worse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down one and bump it right just a little. Down this way. So we'll go to 49. Pretty close to begin with. And the X, we'll go right just one. All right. So what I would do is I would find what zoom feature you're wanting to, to work at. So if I'm shooting ducks, I don't zoom in at all. I leave it zoomed out mostly. Um, if I did any zoom, it'd be just a little bit. Find the zoom you're going to work at and then adjust it to that. So if duck hunting, if I'm not going to zoom in any, I'm going to leave it at zero. I'm going to leave it zoomed all the way out. I'm going to go to that X axis. I'm going to bump it back over to 50. <laughs> Nope, a little too far. Maybe 52. There's 53. All right, so that's pretty spot on. If I was duck hunting, I would, I'd leave it just like that. I'd leave my settings at, at zero zoom, and I would, I'd hunt that no problem. If I was going to be turkey hunting, and I want some zoom. Maybe it's half zoom, maybe it's full zoom, three-quarter zoom. I don't know what your, I don't turkey hunt much, so this would be totally up to you. I would zoom it into that setting, and I would go in and I would adjust that um, zoom, that X, Y. The Y seems to stay pretty well on, while the X, oh, that's way too far, seems to be on the right side of my screen a little more as I zoom in. And that might be just my particular camera a little too far on that but set it up to your zoom and just keep going back and forth into the control and once you figure out this is like that right there is pretty good for three-fourths zoom um, and I can unlock this and move it around and you'll see that red dots gonna go with it so if I want to put it back in there and lock it back down so that's how you adjust your X, Y on your um, 6.0. Uh, we'll look at the Solo Extreme, see how it lines up. Since we can't adjust it, um, just having it in the mount, kind of where it lines up. All right, so we're looking at the Solo Extreme now. I'm gonna check the red dot on it. It's not adjustable like the 6.0 is, uh, but we'll kind of see what it looks like. You know, is it, is it close, uh, you know, good enough? Um, when you're saving 100 bucks or so on your camera. So I'm connecting to it through the Wi-Fi. I'm going to the Tacticam Connect app, connecting to my Solo Extreme. I'm going to go to Control. All right, we're good there. I'm going to go into my Settings on my Solo Extreme. I'm going to go down and turn Red Dot on. 
All right, so red dot is on. And green is what you want to film in. That's your um, kind of your basic video mode or your, your 2K video mode. I hate to call it basic. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to aim this right at that yellow. Like if I cheek it and I put my pen on that yellow target down there, and if you're looking at it on here, so I've got my pin right on that yellow target. Now this is no zoom. So if I half zoom it, full zoom it, you kind of see the idea. It's just a little low um, compared to where my pin on my target is. If I put mine right in the middle and I try not to, try not to bump it, it's just a little low and left. Um, it does kind of, stay that in that exact same spot though so i mean if you know that i wonder if i could move this move the camera a little bit and, and make up for that so if i move it right a little bit now i'm going to recenter it all right so now i'm a little low and right so i'm going to see if i can just keep I just keep moving my mount so now I'm just a little bit low let me cheek it pretty close Let's see if I can tighten this down where it doesn't swing side to side all right so I've got it um, I'm I'm pretty much on the yellow it's kind of hard to and you can see it even like my bog rest keeps moving even as I'm setting here. So it's kind of hard to um, get it to be exact, but it's hitting. So I'm just a tad low. Now this is really close. It's like seven yards. Um, you know, you obviously could be further away and it wouldn't be as bad, but it's just a touch low. Not bad, I don't think. Uh, for, you know, it's not adjustable. You're kind of just aiming it out there with you know, shooting at a turkey or a deer or something like that. I think you'd be um, relatively close. Uh, you know, you could obviously stretch it out and check it again, but the uh, the Solo Extreme, pretty close on the red dot. The 6.0 uh, allows you to really fine tune it in and put that red dot right where you want it to be. Uh, it's just up to you which one maybe you like, uh, which one you prefer. So, something to think about. All right, so with the 6.0 Solo Extreme, um, some things to think about: adjustable uh, red dot, <clears throat> standard red dot. This one's about $130 cheaper, I think. Um, this one will fit in your FTS. Uh, both of them, great quality. This one's going to do 4K. This one's not. This one's got a monitor on it. Um, just some things to think about when you're when you're looking for you know, a camera, uh, another view, a, a kill camera, a kill shot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, both have are great cameras. I use both of them in various ways. Um, Red Dot, you know, doesn't phase me much, but as a turkey hunter, I know some turkey hunters are avid about being able to have a red dot so you might want to go to the 6.0 if you're if that's really important to you if the red dot doesn't mean much to you go with solo extreme it's a great camera too you won't go wrong either way I and mean, on your shotgun or your bow or your fts you can see through the scope